What is up guys, Slash by Gaming here and today I'll be showing you guys how to unpack Elden Ring with UXM. If this video helps you guys out, make sure that you hit that like and subscribe button. So to give you the rundown, typically when trying to download mods into Elden Ring, the mod authors will require you to unpack your files. For those of you unfamiliar, the developers will typically pack files to make their game smaller along with many other reasons. So UXM is an application initially created by a modder TKGP to unpack the files in some of the other Souls-like games. While he has not yet made an official update to the application to support Elden Ring, some other modders have created an unofficial version of UXM that supports it. And that is where I will be starting the video off today. So to download UXM, we'll start by going to the server name Discord by following the link in the description below. Navigate to the Tools and Resources section. From here, you might have to scroll up a bit until you find where this unofficial version is located. Once here, I would highly recommend looking through what Meow Meredith has to say in this message. Some key takeaways are that the game will take up to 101 gigabytes total once it is unpacked. The other main thing that you will have to look at here is that you will have to disable easy anti-cheat if you want to do this. As you can see here, he says do not even attempt to run the game with easy anti-cheat if you patch the exe to load loose files. You can find additional information on how to disable or run without easy anti-cheat in this server, or you can check out the link that I've put in the description below where I also show you how to disable easy anti-cheat. So whenever you are ready and whenever you've read through this whole section here, head down to this file here and click on that. Again, it'll probably tell you that it's a potentially dangerous download, but we'll just go ahead and do this anyways. Hit continue to download, and that should start a download down here for you. Once clicked, you will see here that it'll come up with a new pop-up window. What I typically do when I'm modding any game is I will have some files on my desktop or in a folder somewhere else, especially if it requires some additional things such as, in this case, UXM, or in any other game if, if it requires additional applications or anything like that. What I typically do is, like I said, on my desktop, I will have a folder like this, and what I did in this situation is taking these files here and going to Elden Ring modding. I already have them in this location here, so I'm not gonna put them in there right now, but that is just so that you can have all the files that are recommended and all the files that come with this folder here. Once you have this, what you're gonna to wanna to do is go to uxm.exe. Once clicked, it will come up with a new pop-up that you can see right here. Initially, this path right here is going to show Sekiro, which is obviously incorrect. So you'll have to go to browse and find eldenring.exe. You can see that I have it in here, but just to show you guys, I will go in here and show you where it might be located. Once you click on browse, you'll see all of this in here, and this is what you're gonna wanna hit right here, eldenring.exe. Once you have that, hit open, and it should populate in this executable path right here. Hit unpack. Again, this will make the file size 101 gigabytes, so make sure that you guys have the space to do this. So once it's unpacked, it'll show unpacking complete here. What you are going to want to do from here is hit this patch option right here, and it'll take another, you know, a couple of seconds and patch it for you. You will see a good amount of new folders in your Elden Ring game folder, which will most likely need to be accessed for whatever mod you're intending to download. And that about covers it, guys. If this video helped you out, make sure that you hit that like and subscribe button. And thank you again to TKGP and those others who worked to make this available in Elden Ring. Until next time, everyone, this is Slash by Gaming, signing out.